Hello, my name is Kadado and today I will be teaching Hinox Shonlem Pear Pera. I begin with a disclaimer. Uh, the content provided is not meant to be a substitute for professional advice and is not meant to be used for medical diagnosis and or medical treatment. I will not be held liable for misuse of this application for this purpose. Every effort has been made to make the content of this video accurate and error-free. I will not be held liable for any accuracies that may arise or develop as new treatment guidance become available. Now that I've got that the way, I can begin. So today I'm going to be speaking about Henoxron and Perpera. It's also known as anaphylactoid Perpera. So I'll start with the mnemonic. You can think of the products of Henoxron and Perpera as GORAC. So the G stands for glomerular glomerular, I can't always pronounce this properly, glomerulonephritis. The O stands for edema, because uh, you get swelling of the joints. Uh, the R stands for rash, so you get characteristic skin rash. The A stands for arthritis or arthralgia, so you get pain in the knees and ankles, and you also can get swelling, hence the edema. So edema, arthritis, and P is pain in the abdomen, so let's go wrap. Okay, so a little introduction on uh, um, HSP, Henoxtronum's purpura, is a condition that affects mainly children from the ages of 3 to 10. It occurs more in boys and it peaks in winter months. Uh, so it's, a, it's the most common form of childhood vasculitis. So vasculitis is inflammation of the blood vessels. Um, is a self-limiting condition. is usually preceded by a usually preceded by an infection such as an upper respiratory streptococcal infection. Uh, despite much research, the actual cause of Henoxtronum perpera is unknown. There's a theory for the cause, which says there's a genetic link, the genetic pre predisposition plus antigen exposure, which leads to IgG disruption and IgA levels to increase. So what this does is they form a complex and they active when they form a complex they activate uh, the complement cascade. and they also are deposited in organs. Uh, this leads to an inflammatory re re response and vasculitis. So now we'll be talking about the G aspect, which is to do with the kidneys. So um, glomerulonephritis is usually asymptomatic and uh, non-progressive is believed to occur when the bacterial antigen uh, becomes trapped in the glomerulus. Um, the kidneys are affected because you get IgA mediated systematic vasculitis, which affects the kidneys. In fact, in, in children with HSP, about 80% have macroscopic, so micro or macroscopic hematuria or uh, mild progenuria. Uh, this usually resolves and uh, the kid makes a complete recovery. So that was G for glomerulonephritis. arthritis. Now I'm going to be talking about the O and the A. So um, the O stands for edema and the A stands for arthritis. So you can get knee and ankle pain and swelling. Uh, you get knee and ankle pain, arthritis, arthralgia, and it can be accompanied with um, Swelling, periarticular edema, um, not always though, and this usually results before the rash results. So now I'll talk about the rash. So the rash, um, you usually get an acute palp palpable uh, perforic rash that affects the child's buttocks and extends the surfaces on the legs and arms and also the ankles. You can also get some necrotic and ulcerated lesions, and you can get a fever, but that doesn't always occur. You can get, uh, for, so we've done that, 
down that one, and then there's pain there. So you can get chronic abdominal pain. And I'm just going to be treated with uh, corticosteroids. You can get gastrointestinal petechiae, which can cause hemat hematemis. You get blood in the stool, which is hematosis, and you, you can get melania. And you can also get intersusception in Hinox strongum papua, but intersusception is difficult to diagnose in this, in, in this situation. Treatment, uh, the treatment for Hinox strongum papua is usually um, supportive and encourages the child to rest. Uh, you can give non steroidal anti inflammatory analgesia for the abdominal pain. Uh, you can give penicillin for the streptococcal infection. Renal uh, involvement uh, determines prognosis and may need systemic, which may need systemic steroids. Uh, if proteinuria is m more severe, it can lead to uh, uh, nephrotic syndrome. Uh, children with renal manifestations, can, if they get renal manifestations, they will need, con they will need continuous follow-up, checking the blood pressure if they have hypertension, and you can uh, examine the urine to see if they got any renal impairment. And that's the end of the video. I hope you find it useful. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.